What is a 7 segment display? If you were to open one, you would see just a bunch of LEDs strapped together sharing their positive or negative side. This brings us to the common anode or cathode configuration. A typical LED has two legs, the longer one being the anode or the positive side and the shorter one being the cathode or the negative. If you look at the schematic symbol of the LED, this is the anode and this is the cathode. In the common anode configuration, the positive sides of all the LEDs are connected to the same voltage source. You control them in the negative or cathode side. In this case, your logic will be inverted. On the other hand, in the common cathode configurations, all the negative sides of the LEDs are connected to the same ground. You control them in the positive side, meaning that the logic is not inverted. To show you an example of the common anode configuration, I will use this Kingbright single 7 segment display I had lying around. By looking at the schematic in the datasheet, pins number 3 and 8 are the anodes of the LEDs, so I will connect them to the VCC tracks in the breadboard. Now I can connect the other pins to ground, they light up. Attention, don't connect them directly to ground, you may damage your components. I started by organizing the connections, so that the pins from A to DP are in order and easier to access. When you're done, connect a 330 ohm resistor to each pin. This will protect your circuit. Before connecting the cables from the Arduino to the LEDs, let's program the code. Create an array to store the pin numbers of the Arduino that will connect to the display. Since each value represents a segment, the array will be named segment. In my configuration, pin 3 connects to A, 4 to B, 5 to C, and so on. Finally, the pin 10 connects to the decimal point. Since we have to set the mode for a lot of pins, why don't make use of the FOR function? This way we can affect each pin individually, saving lines of code. Inside the loop, set the mode of the pin to OUTPUT. Remember that my 7 segment has a common anode configuration, so my logic will be inverted, which means LOW is ON and HIGH is OFF. If yours is common cathode, just reverse the states. Due to this, I have to set all the pins to HIGH, otherwise all the segments will be ON. Use the digital write function and set the pin in question to high. Now, I want each segment to blink in sequence, so in the loop function, let's make use of another 4. Inside the 4, simply turn on the segment, which in my case is setting it to low. Use the delay function so that it doesn't turn off immediately. Last but not least, use the digital write function to turn off the segment, which in my case is setting it to high. Finally, connect all the pins from the Arduino to the breadboard. You can see that my segments are blinking in sequence as intended. In the next tutorial, we'll create a controller to display numbers and letters on the seven segments. Thanks for watching.